Go. Welcome back, everyone, to Historic T Street. I am Halftime Howie, and we're live from Nantasket Beach. And uh, we have a great segment. You know what? Doing this show has given me a great opportunity to make a difference and reach out to the youth. Uh, Rocco Pasifumi, like Mayor, is like a son to me. Um, I met Rocco about four or five years ago. And uh, Rocco's story is that when he was 13 years old, he was uh, diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. Um, and being involved in this show, I think, has made a tremendous difference in Rocco's life. Yes. Um, he's grown so much. Like, you know, I just commented to a few, to my, just in my own mind that, you know, Rocco walked up to people today and introduced himself. You know, and people say that's not a big deal, but to someone like Rocco, that would never happen yeah. two years ago. And, and I think yeah. that being part of the show has really made him grow social, socially. Yeah. And uh, he's been such an integral part of the show. Not only does he do movie reviews, um, he's a videographer, but he also writes his own uh, um, poems. his own original poems. Yes. And being that we're on the beach, yes. this one is called Lonely Sea Never Meant to Be. Yes. So I give you my videographer, my movie critic and poet, Rocco Pasafume. Rocco. Thank you very much, Howie. Um, yes, this poem was inspired by being on the beach. Um, being in Long Beach the last couple of years really gives you a lot of inspiration as a poet. You know, you, you I think you get a lot of me metaphors that you develop when you, when you're around the beach and you're on the sand. Um, Howie and Mayor and I we actually were on the beach yesterday in Nantasket, and it's a quite incredible beach. Um, it's definitely different. You get a different atmosphere there than you do in Long Beach because um, you know the, you know right by you know Long Beach is right by the Atlantic Ocean, so there's a lot of rough waves, and you know you get this like greenish kind of salt water and over. Um, in Nantasket Beach, the beach has a lot of rocks, and the sea is so crystal clear, and, and, and the waters are more calm. And um, I was working on this when I started. Um, I was still in Long Beach at the time, and then I finished it during my weekend here up in Nantasket. So uh, the poem is none other than it's called "Lonely Sea Never Meant to Be." The rushing tide it pulls me. It's pulling me right out to sea. Now I float away just so aimlessly. I look to the sky above and now all I think of is where it all went wrong with our love. I now just think of all that we used to share each day and night, all the times we just held each other tight, all our holding hands and making plans. I never thought I'd now be here all along and all alone and cry. Thinking of how with you I became so arrogant. I'm in these dark waters. I just think of all with you that I've now squandered. In your heart is where I wanted to stay. Now I'm adrift and so lost like a castaway. Missing all our past bright sunny days. I miss you here with me, but now our love has turned to tragedy. I screwed up and now you've slipped away. Now as I float into this lonely sea, who knew we were just never meant to be. Thank you.